This is your CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. The latest now on Georgia's Senate Showdown. I am going to the Senate to work for all of Georgia. No matter who you cast your vote for in this election. In this CBS News projecting Democrat Reverend Raphael Warnock is the senator elect of Georgia. And the unofficial results showing he beat Republican incumbent Kelly Leffler. We're going to make sure every vote is counted. Every that's right. <laughs> And Leffler, who is in Washington with the president right now, is not giving up just yet, vowing to fight, saying this race is far from over. The runoff races for Georgia's other Senate seat, too close to call right now, as some counties still have to count those ballots. The candidates did send out statements as they wait for the results. Here's John Ossoff's campaign manager saying when all the votes are counted, we fully expect that John Ossoff will have won this election to represent Georgia in the United States Senate. And the Purdue campaign releasing this one. Saying in part, we will mobilize every available resource and exhaust every legal recourse to ensure all legally cast ballots are properly counted. We believe in the end, Senator Perdue will be victorious. Stay with CBS 46 for our continuing coverage of the Georgia Senate showdown as the results continue to come in. You can also download our free, powerful CBS 46 streaming app to get instant updates sent right to your mobile device. The other big story, Georgia has its first case of the COVID variant Disease first detected in the United Kingdom. State health officials say the infected person is an 18 year old man with no travel history. Right now he's isolating at home, we're told. Health officials are currently working to find other people who he may have come in contact with. Scammers trying to cash in on the slow rollout of the coronavirus vaccine. Government officials in both the US and Europe say fraudsters are falsely advertising vaccine shots for as little as 150 bucks. Others promise spots on secret lists for early access. The vaccine's not expected to be widely available for several months. One thing we are keeping our eye on is the weather. Meteorologist Rodney Harris looking at a little frozen precipitation in the mountains. That's what I get for trying to say snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little snow be possible, Karen, as we head toward uh, Thursday night and early Friday morning. Not for Metro Atlanta, though. It's really more for the higher elevations of the mountains. Let's start with Thursday morning. It is cloudy but dry in Atlanta by Thursday at lunchtime. Still dry, but after 3 o'clock, really around 3 o'clock is when scattered showers will start to move in. These showers will not be uh, heavy at all. No storms and no winter weather in Metro Atlanta. Just scattered showers that will continue throughout Thursday evening, kind of off and on. And then Thursday night, uh, as really as late as uh, as early as about 7 or 8 Thursday night, continuing through early Friday morning, there is the potential of a changeover from rain to snow and the higher elevations of the northeast Georgia mountains. It's a very small area like Rabin County, Towns County, Union County. That will continue to be possible through early Friday morning. Again, for Metro Atlanta, it's just scattered rain, and whether you get rain or snow, it's all over by lunchtime on Friday, and that'll be the beginning of a dry trend that will go through uh, as we go into the weekend, even though it will be dry for much of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be super cold. Uh, lows will be in the 30s with highs in the 40s, eventually getting up to 51 degrees. By Sunday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Homes, Atlanta's one day bath remodeler.